everyone. Hello, Hollywood fans from all over the world. Welcome to Dajak's What is Hallyu? In the last class, we studied what is complex system and what is synergetics. And we learned self-organization and fractal and self-similarity, which are characteristic of self-organization. Based on this, today I'd like to talk about what Hallyu is in synergetics. This figure is a model of the syn synchronic evolutionary structure of Hallyu. It shows the process through which Hallyu was born. In this process, we also discovered the process of self-organization of synergetics. Let's look at the left side of the picture. Korean sellers and foreign buyers face each other over K-culture contents, number one, one prime. At this meeting, foreign buyers purchase K-culture contents is number two. Foreign buyers who purchased K-culture contents either become the end consumer or reseller. If they are not an end consumer, they face the final consumer in their own country or a third country with them. It's number three, three prime. In this meeting, the end consumer purchases the K-culture contents secured by the reseller from Korean seller. Is number four. The end consumer then relays the viewer's response to the reseller or Korean seller. Number five. Korean seller reflect the reactions of end consumers in the production of other K culture contents or provide feedback to end consumers in another way. Is number five prime. The circulation that leads to the number one, one prime two, number three, three prime four, and number five, five prime is the process of self organization of Hallyu. Without intentional interference from the outside, system elements such as sellers, buyers, K culture content, market, etc make their own structure and create a new order. This self-organization process gives birth to a new cultural order in the Asian market, Hallyu. In this model of this, uh, the synchronic evolutionary structure of Hallyu, we find the fractal structure and self-similarity, which are characteristics of the self-organization process. In other words, the patterns of the upper left small scale A, number one, one prime, two, and the lower right small scale B, number three, three prime, four, resemble each other. It has self-similarity. We call this similar structure a fractal. This picture is the diachronic evolutionary stage of the self-organization process of synergetics and Hallyu. Synergetics' self-organization process goes through a diachronic evolutionary stage called chaos, critical point, emergent behavior. Chaos is a state of confusion where you don't know what it is, and evolutionary biology calls it primeval soup. In other words, hundreds of millions of years ago, the universe was made up of organic molecules, and it, it is not known what these molecules 
will evolve into. In the diachronic evolutionary stage of a highly used self-organization process, I call the stage of case care, cares in the conceptual prehistory of Hallyu. K-culture contents are clearly regularly in the Asian market, but this movement cannot be defined. This is the conceptual prehistory era of Hallyu. In this state of cares, Korean band Clone, Divar, HOT, SES's performance in Taiwan and Clone's performance in Beijing play a role as a critical point that brought about the emergent behavior of the linguistic symbol Hallyu. In other words, if K-drama's popularity in the Asian market was a full cup, K-pop was the last drop that made made the cup overflow. On November 7, 1998, Taiwan's Yan Manbo ran an article titled, Listen, the Hallyu has arrived with four teams, Clone, Divar, HOT, and SES. They will gather in Taiwan to sing this month. Through this article, we can confirm that the linguistic symbol Hallyu first appeared in the world. In other words, K-pop concerts of Clone Diva HOT SES became a critical point and brought about an emergent behavior, the emergence of a linguistic symbol Hallyu. It was on November 19th, 1999, one week after Clone's performance in Beijing, that the linguistic symbol Hallyu first appeared in China. Beijing Youth Report used the linguistic symbol Hallyu for the first time in an article titled There are times that the east wind against the west wind also rises from the east. At the time, Hallyu was a symbol of Asian cultural pride, especially for the Chinese, lost to the West in the Opium Wars. Now then, the emergent behavior of the linguistic symbol Hallyu, what does this mean? Look forward to next Thursday, episode 1 to 3. Hallyu in Harkins' Energetics. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay tuned for the next time. Bye-bye.